Hello and good morning. Um, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 5th of December 2020 time. He looks 10.06 Greenwich Mean Time. I missed out the word or phrase of the week last week. It was of course announcement. On a week when there was an announcement about an announcement. That's not how you pronounce it. An announcement about an announcement. I think that's better. Anyway, the word this week is closure. You'll probably guess why. And also continuity issues. Hair, glasses and Canadian camouflage. I am doing this on Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro on a Pixel 3a using the remote. Mainly for Mr. Tomlinson, because I know he's a Pixel user. And I'm just trying to see if I can actually do it. In the meantime, I have this. And this is, and I'm going to have to read it out. Um, I had it in bubs on Thursday. It is Garden Party 2017. A sour blonde ale aged with grapes, lemon and elderflower, 9.8%. Um, Cascade Brewing of Portland, Oregon had a tap takeover in Bubs on Thursday. And because of timing, I had to take away a little bottle. Looks like a sample bottle. So, okay. It smells sour earthy um sort of a little bit fruity oh wow you need to like sours like them love them actually it's strong it doesn't taste the 9.8 percent if you like sours uh, oh, and it's sort of acidic and tingly in the finish. Oh, this is this is a B plus plus and a bit, which is three point six something like that. It's really nice. Anyway, what happened this week? Um, well, there was the i iPad. It wasn't the iPad. It was the MacBook Pro. Took it in. Monday had it back. Monday, no alcohol served in pubs throughout Wales. Pubs could stay open, um, but they could only do soft drinks and meals. And they would have to close at six. There was a thunder snow in Scotland. And I had my last, I'm assuming it's going to be my last emergency Beano of the year. 2020, um, you've been very different. You've been scary, um, but we'll get on with it. Anyway, on with the thing, probably uh, Central Bar to start. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week. I was really impressed by Apple. I mean, I booked my genius appointment and I had, I think, a text and emails and QR codes uh, reminding me, that sort of thing. I got there 10 minutes early because that's what I do. And I got put onto one side and I got told that I was early. Steve liked early people. And that they were running late because, well, geniuses and people whereas myself i knew what was wrong and i wanted to be in and out and when i finally got in the guy was great actually he shops at asda <laughs> i don't know what that's got to do with anything apart from apple pay um run a diagnostics went away came back and said it'll be x and it should be done by monday X was considerably more than I thought it would be. Um, but it turns out new keyboard and new touch bar as well. And since I have the uh, 
the dodgy keyboard um, it's not the scissors it's the one before that I'll probably get an updated one of those um, which I was quite impressed with anyway in their five minutes back out the job back on I was told that I would get a phone call or a text on Monday um, and then I had up to three months to collect it I'd forgotten about the rugby I went to the Owen Glendua. You couldn't get in unless you'd booked. I managed to get into the old arcade. I like the old arcade. Um, I asked for dark. I was told that they haven't done dark since after the first lockdown. It wasn't a criticism. Um, it's a Cascale. Cascales, three days, and then they pass their best. And if you are not selling a lot, then you've got wastage. However, a pint of SA, and it wasn't bad. Plus, it was right next to Bubs. He's checking on this thing. Bubs was excellent. Um, Three hours I had, um, basically, because of the rugby and all the shoppers and what have you. The place filled up, but everyone was separated. And I had an apricot sour from Scotland. It was really good. Um, the guy asked me if I like sours because on Thursday they're having a sour session from five o'clock onwards. Bear in mind what happened on Friday, the announcement without the announcement. I kind of figured that I'd better book Thursday. I won't be there until five. It's as you probably guessed, well past my bedtime because I'm of an age. Um, but uh, as long as I can get the leave, then um, I might have one or two. It depends. However, even if there's no sours there, um, their beers and the selection of beers, absolutely excellent. Really, really, really good. Anyway, he says checking Evernote. This morning I had an email at half past eight saying your MacBook Pro's fixed. It went in on Saturday. It was fixed by half past eight on Monday. And surprisingly TFW Rail and a little bit of uh, Flexi Leave got me down there and got me back very, very quickly. And here's an oddity for you. A colleague at in work uh, told me that her daughter and some friends were shouting out the names of YouTube stars. And one of them shouted out my name, Roger Nash. I could be the new PewDiePie. Or not. <laughs> uh, um, you should see my stats. Not exactly a YouTube star. Anyway, um, coming back on the train, Mr Drakeford announced... Um, starting on Friday at 1800 hours and to be reviewed on the 17th um, no alcohol to be served in pubs or restaurants or clubs or such like and they close down at six o'clock um, after that they can either do takeaways of soft drinks or food that's all pubs closed then um, and I was having a look at public health Wales figures uh, I think it's about 1.6 percent of cases come from pubs Restaurants are even lower, or restaurants and cafes are even lower. Uh, supermarkets are incredibly high. So are workspaces. Mind you, some people work in pubs. Yeah, science. It's all science based, except it's not. People will drink. They'll just drink at home. They'll drink at home with their mates, because um, you can still get fine ales in supermarkets. Um, and that fire break? Oh, we won't have another one. We're having another one. It's just that you can buy frying pans this time. I'm not impressed with people who claim science and then ignore it. I should live on the Isle of Wight. Nah, not really. I like the valleys. Anyway, there is this Friday, or maybe Saturday, sleet forecast. Um, and if you're up in the Brecon Beacons, snow. Anyway, time will tell. Yeah. 
which is not the best way to start. This is a bit of a lash up. <laughs> it's Thursday. It's twenty past nine Zulu time. I'm in the central bar in Cardiff. And things they moved along. Okay, so I've switched over from my bank's credit card to my Tesco credit card because my bank's credit card took away the cash back. I have to be honest, towards the end it wasn't a great amount, but it was cash. I now get the odd club card point back, which is, I suppose it's better than nothing, although not greatly so. Still, every little counts. <laughs> um, the reason I'm in Cardiff today, well, someone once says that democracy is, well, I can't remember what they actually said, something like it's the best of the worst ways of governing. Like, there is no optimal way of governing, um, democracy is the best way. Um, and the problem with democracy is you can vote and you can not get what you want. And that's the thing with democracy. You have to put up with other people getting what they want. However, along comes Wales. I think I've already mentioned um, about where you can catch COVID. You can't actually find this on Public Health Wales. You have to go to Public Health England. Pubs 1.6%, hospitals 3.6%. And again, not suggesting we close hospitals, but pubs aren't the problem. And if they are, close them down, find them, and find the people in them. Uh, there was a case in Merthyr yesterday where I'm not sure any of that, apart from the closing down part, happened. And that was a Labour club. Anyway, democracy. Whatever you might think of Bojo, at least he had a vote on these tier systems. In Wales, teetotal, Mr. Dragford decided that pubs and places that served alcohol weren't allowed to do it, and then denied the Senate, as it's called, a vote on it. That's not democracy. And that's not following the science. So, not exactly pleased. And, as you're aware, I booked into Bubs from 12 o'clock today. And that's where I'll be. I might head over to the Head of Steam for about 11 to see if they're actually open. And have the odd sherbet there. I am currently drinking this again, which is nice. And I have a, a slice of lime in it as well. I just want to do a shout out um, to a guy in Sainsbury's, top end of Queen Street in Cardiff. I was purchasing uh, an Apple voucher for a Christmas present and it wouldn't work. And he did everything he could. He actually went and got another one, tried a different tilt. In the end, it was fine. Um, he went above and beyond. So thank you very much. I don't know your name. Although he did have a name badge on, but I'm of an age now where I forget things. You know. But he was great. And, well, Costa Coffee. Um, bacon roll and cappuccino. You're not allowed to pay for... You're not allowed to pay for them together because they're a deal. Well, that was last year. You had to pay for them separately. This year, you either couldn't pay for the bacon roll or you couldn't pay for the coffee with your points. I'm a little bit confused, and it's difficult when you're wearing a mask. <laughs> uh, anyway, there you go. Um, so, could be a little bit tiddly. Could be very tiddly by the end of today. And since they'll be... Oh, yeah, forgot to mention. Yeah, no spoons. Um, uh, Tim, who is not well liked by everyone, did make the valid point that if you're a pub 
and pubs are there to sell alcohol, you're not going to make a great profit, if anything at all, by selling soft drinks and food. And wet lab pubs, forget it. So there will be no Beano on Saturday. So this should be out of the door relatively early. I should be having a curry today, but I'm full of that bacon roll. <laughs> um, so that's it for Thursday. Uh, see you Saturday morning and uh, goodbye. Wave, wave. Well, okay, so continuity. Um, and it's cold, and it's wet, and it's winter, and lots of things. Anyway, after the central bar, I moved on to um, the head of steam, where I'm not sure if it was the mask, but I couldn't describe to the guy at the door what a walk-up meant. Being on their website, um, you couldn't book for that day, and the minimum you could book for was two. However, when I got there, and it was open from ten, I should know, um, sort of, there was no one in there. In the end, he said, oh, um, walk in. <laughs> uh, however, they have a live uh, tapped feed, and I managed to get on there. Um, and they had some good beers, and it was nice and warm, and there you go. However, at 12 o'clock, straight on to Bubs. Excellent welcome, Stevie Ray Vaughan playing on entrance. Somewhat appropriate that they were playing the blues. Some wonderful beers, and um, I have a beer um, from them. I think it's the 2017 Floral. Um, I need to get that actually, um, which I took home with me because um, you weren't allowed to drink it because of the Cascade Brewery five o'clock thingy, whatchamacallit. But I had a quick sniff of it and it smelled lovely. And it had that sort of funky sourness. So that was the Thursday. Yesterday, Friday, Thunder snow in Scotland. Thunderstorms and snow at the same time. We were supposed to have sleet. Didn't. Although I think they might have had it on the heads of the valley. Hello, Howell. Um, there was a big sign on the outside of Spoon saying, as from half five tonight, last order, six o'clock, everyone out. Um, although there are eight Welsh spoons that will remain open. Hmm. Um, obviously, no alcohol. Um, there are two in Cardiff, one in Newport, Cumbran, that sort of thing. I think a lot of it is politics. There was certainly politics in the getting together and now they're doing it sort of thing, which I'm not altogether keen on. However, those staff who would have been on furlough will now have jobs, which at Christmas I think is quite important. In fact, very important. Uh, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, I suppose it's going to be this way now until Christmas. Yeah. Still, I'm feeling good. And things are good. And I'm working with some really good people and I have a job. So let us not um, be too upset. Let us count our blessings, which I have. And there you go. So, um, that was the week. <sighs> it just disappeared. Um, so, new batteries, closed pubs, and shaved heads. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.